Hello Pisces, welcome to your you and them love reading. This will be for those of you who already are in some sort of a relationship or have a connection in mind. We're going to be looking at your person's um, thoughts or feelings towards you. What are their energies in this connection as well as yours? We'll look at what's going on between you and a potential outcome. So we're going to get right into it. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Messages for Pisces, please. Regarding love. I'm going to use the Animal Spirit Oracle deck here to get your energies. Pisces. And the person they are in a connection with. So what do we need to know for Pisces? Please consider liking and subscribing if you enjoy the readings. It's free and it helps out the channel grow. Thank you to everyone who already does that. I appreciate it. All right, Pisces, let's see. What are your energies in this connection, Pisces? Tell me about Pisces. Tell me about Pisces. What are their energies in this connection, Spirit? What are their energies in this connection? Okay, so we got Snake. So the Snake is all about finding potential or uh, taking advantage of something that has potential. Um, it's about kind of like riding that momentum. Also, it's about kind of jumping on something before it's too late. So I'm getting like a little bit of, um, I don't know why I'm picking a little bit of anxiety from that card. We'll see. We'll see what's going on. Tell me about the person that Pisces is dealing with. Tell me about the person that Pisces is dealing with. What are their energies in this connection? Okay. Very young energy with the otter. Happy, joyful, um, likes to have a good time. Playful energy. You could be dealing with someone younger. You could be dealing with someone who's very playful, has a good sense of humor, uh, likes to enjoy life. Can you guys stop? I don't know what is up with my dogs lately. Please excuse them. They get bored, I guess, and so they start looking at my bookshelves and what's on, like, in them. <laughs> All right, let's look at what's going on in your connection, Spirit. Tell me about the energies, the mutual energies in this connection. What's going on between Pisces and this other person? What's going on between Pisces and this other person? Can you tell me about this connection? Let's see, what's going on between... Okay. We got Goddess of the Moon. Very Piscean energy. Bottom of the deck. Caring connections. I feel like you... From one of you, but I'm going to... I think it's you. Because you have the snake. Um... I feel like there's something that you're not very clear on in this connection, which is making you a little bit nervous. And I feel like you are seeing potential here, but are also having doubts about something. We're going to get into that. Let's see. For Pisces. Now, Pisces, this will be a general love reading, so will not and cannot resonate with every single person watching. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Not every reading will resonate 100% and that's okay. Sometimes they don't resonate at all and you can just check back next week to see what else we have here from Spirit or you can look at your other placements. All right, so Spirit, tell me about the main energies here. What are the main energies between Pisces and this other person? What are the mutual energies here? Using Tarot Grand Lux. For some reason, I didn't want to take a card. Seven of Wands Reverse. What else can you tell me about this connection? Ten of Swords Reverse. The World. It's a good card to have. I feel like there's, whoever I'm talking to here, Pisces, you guys have already been, had something with this person. 
that possibly already ended. Maybe it ended before it started. I feel like there's a potential here for something new, a new cycle, or maybe this is just wrapping up an old cycle that you're already in with this person. We'll see when I clarify. Oops. Tell me about the energy that Pisces is bringing to this connection. Now, Pisces, I have you on this side and I have your person on the other, but feel free to flip them if they resonate. Because energies can be flipped. Tell me about Pisces. What are their energies in this connection? What are they thinking or feeling? The moon reverse. Well, there you are, Pisces. Coming in to your own reading. The moon reverse. Something here is coming to light that's like unclear. Queen of Wands. What else can you tell me for Pisces? You want something, you're attracted to something, motivated, want to get something done. Wrapped up here. Queen of Swords. And I feel like you're very direct about, or going to be very direct about it. Maybe you've created some boundaries here, because I have the Seven of Wands and the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords always... Okay, sorry, they wanted me to take this one. Queen of Swords is always um very good with boundaries. Like they have no problem making like creating boundaries and protecting themselves. That's what they're all about. Six of Swords reversed. I feel like you want to make a move here with I have the Six of Swords reversed and the cherry at the bottom of the deck, Cancer Energy. It's like you're trying to leave a situation but are stuck or delayed, or maybe you want to return to something. We'll clarify that later on. Okay, so tell me about the person that Pisces is dealing with. Tell me about this otter here. Tell me about the person that Pisces is dealing with. Hermit reverse Virgo energy. Got the page of wands here. So even though they're withdrawn, oh, knight of wands reverse. Even though they're withdrawn, they want to get something started here or communicate about starting something. With the knight of wands reverse and the hermit reverse, I think this is going to be the wrong approach or maybe your person, and I have High Priestess at the bottom. There's something that you don't know about this person's intentions, I feel. With the Knight of Wands reversed, um, this is someone who isn't able to commit to anything long term. They don't finish what they start. Um, it could be that they have something that they're also passionate or motivated about that they can't make a move on as well. So we'll see when I clarify. Let's clarify with the Lightseers Harrow here. How many clarifies messages for Pisces? Please consider hitting the like button or subscribing if you enjoy the readings. Really helps the channel grow. It's a free way that you can support the channel. Let me clarify spirit. And all of the decks that I'm using are linked down below. If you're interested in a personal reading, all of that information is in the description box. All right, Pisces, let's get into this. Tell me about this Ten of Swords reverse. This is what's like really interesting me here. Something ended already. What's this Ten of Swords reverse about? And it's like someone's ready to move on here. Okay, Chariot reversed, Cancer energy, Eight of Cups reversed. Again with this like feeling of returning or unable to leave, unable to move. Tell me more about the Ten of Swords reverse. It's like something already ended, but someone can't leave or is hesitating. Yeah, there's someone that's holding back here. Ooh, with holding back and then I have the Six of Cups at the bottom. Someone it um, could be maybe financially holding back here, saving their money. Um, it could be that they are holding on for now. You know, maybe they're planted where they are and they can't really move. But more than anything, I'm thinking that someone's holding on to the past. Um, maybe keeping this to themselves here. I have the six of 
pentacles and judgment reverse. It's almost like they're wondering if someone feels the same way here. If they're on the same page. What's this? I'm not taking this, but four of cups, ten of cups reverse. Yeah, someone's not happy where they are. There's probably family issues here. And I say someone because this is mutual energy, so you're both here. Tell me about the seven of wands reverse. There's the seven of wands reverse here for Pisces. Seven of swords, what is going on? The sun, someone's gonna, I feel like someone's doing something. It's like someone is um, stealing from the cookie jar in broad daylight. And I think they're doing it because they want to rebalance the situation here with the Six of Pentacles. Um, but again, I feel like the approach, it's the approach. It's like they're hiding something here, hiding how they truly feel, avoiding a certain conversation, a certain situation. Um, you know what I'm getting here? It's like someone is pretending to give something. I don't know why I'm getting that. Now, or, or not even pretending, but even like pretending to themselves. Like they're even lying to themselves about how much they're giving to something. It has to do with this connection. Almost as if someone's like, but I'm here. I, I'm, I'm interested. I'm willing to, to do this with you. Um, you know, and they've convinced themselves that's true. But, but there's an uneven, like there's something that's not balanced here. Or, you know, if it is balanced, it just appears that way. I hope I'm making sense because this, this message is confusing even me. But this is what I'm getting. And with the Seven of Wands reverse, it's like this person, this Seven of Swords, whoever this is, they know that saying this or doing this is going to, like, it's like your guard is down. So they're taking advantage of that and telling you exactly what they need to tell you. Because I have the sun, six of pentacles, great cards to have, you know, success, radiance, light, fun, joy, celebration. <laughs> and then I have this seven of swords like in between. It could also be that someone's trying to be very strategic about bringing something into balance here we'll see the as we keep going tell me about the world why is the world here three of wands someone has been waiting for this why is the world here Nine of Swords, Reverse, I got two. Two of Pentacles, Reverse, so choice has been made. And now someone's like rushing into a new beginning here. Have um, the star at the bottom, Aquarius energy. It's almost like someone's running right to what they've wished for. Interesting, Death Reverse, the Moon Reverse. And after that, the Nine of Cups. So I feel like something's coming to light here. Someone's no longer stressed or anxious or fearful. They've, they've overcome that. Something's not affecting them as it once did when it comes to this new beginning or when it comes to ending something because I have the two of pentacles here. So someone I feel has already made a decision. Maybe the decision is to you know, they were waiting for the right time to leave a situation or, or end a cycle. And the reason I say end and not always like a new beginning is because I have the Ten of Swords reversed here. Something has already ended. I feel like that's opened the door here for someone to rush in, go after what they truly want. Oh, okay. Tell me about the moon reverse. Why is the moon reverse here? This is something coming to light, something no longer being an illusion here. 
Ooh, okay. Got Temperance and the Three of Cups. Sagittarius energy there with Temperance. Something is no longer an illusion. Coming together, bringing something together. Tell me more about this moon reverse. A reunion, a balance. I feel like this is something that's coming to light here. Tell me about the moon reverse. Seven of Cups, Options, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Someone's making a decision here about or choosing an option. It's like you want to come together with this person. You want to bring back the balance to this connection. Tell me about this Queen of Wands. It's a lot of attraction here. Tell me about this Queen of Wands, please. Ace of Pentacles reverse, but no commitment. A lot of attraction, but no commitment. Someone probably attached to a situation or to another person. Tell me more about this Queen of Wands. Could be you. King of Cups reverse. Wow, we have a lot of people here. And then as I say that, there's a Three of Pentacles reverse. Some of you are in a third party. I know I'm gonna get some eye rolls, but the card is the card and it showed up there. So I'm gonna say it. I gotta talk about what I see. And I see here a broken commitment um, or someone unable to take an opportunity or having financial issues. Probably someone's financially attached to someone or something. It could be that, you know, this Nine of Pentacles reverses a card about someone that's not free, not independent, not single. And then I have it with the Ace of Pentacles reverse. So that tells me the fact that they're not single is a reason for there being no commitment here. And then I have the King of Cups reverse and then the Three of Cups reverse. So I feel like someone's not coping well with the fact that, you know, this can't happen or is not happening. I wonder if you're going to do something about this or if you are the one that's in a commitment. If this is resonating, leave me a comment down below and tell me how the reading is resonating for you. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords here. The Fool Reverse, Nine of Cups. This Queen of Swords wants a new beginning. They want their wish fulfilled, but they're stuck somewhere. I think you're the one stuck in a situation. Knight of Wands, Reverse Queen of Cups. There's a pair. So far on this side, I have one, two, three, four, five people. One, two, three, three. And, and, you know, I'm including the messengers there, but there's a lot of people here. And, you know, there could be like a family situation. It could be interferences from work, past partners, current partners, whatever it is. There's several people here. And, it, you know, I got the Three of Cups here and I had the Three of Pentacles reversed. I feel like you're motivated by love. This Queen of Swords is motivated by love. Uh, listening to their intuition here. It's like they love someone that, that can't commit to them. You know, they, they love someone that can't commit to them or, or want to like see potential in someone, but that person's not able to give them what they want. Okay, so let's look at your person. Why is the Hermit reverse? Why is the Hermit reverse here for Pisces? Devil reverse. Why is the Hermit here reverse for Pisces? Six of Cups. Um, what's this? Three of Swords. Another three. Knight of Cups reverse. Another Knight reverse. It's almost like if, you know, if this is not somebody that's playing you, I hate to say it that way, but... I have the Knight of Wands reversed twice. That's a player. That's someone that's unable or unwilling to commit. Um, if they're not a player type energy, um, then this is someone that is unable to express how they truly feel or their messages are blocked. 
But um, this hermit here, reverse, your person is withdrawn because they, I feel like they're in a situation that's very difficult or they've trapped themselves and bound themselves to something that's not, it's not a wise decision. Um, I feel like this is someone from your past, someone that you already know. I feel like this is someone that, yeah, they could be in a situation themselves that's a third party. What a mess. What is happening here? This is a mess all around. And it's like the Page of Wands is here. So this is someone with the Knight of Wands reverse. So someone that, you know, they can talk about things, initial ideas here. But when it comes to actually making a move, they can't move or they can't go after something. Tell me about the Page of Wands. It could be a fire sign, a Capricorn. I have a lot of signs here. Another water sign. See, Hangman Reverse, it's like they can talk to you. They can even be honest with you about a situation. Queen of Swords, again here. With, but with the Hangman Reverse, they're not able to let go or uh, unwilling to sacrifice something here. Tell me about the Page of Wands. Why is the Page of Wands here? Strength Reverse. They maybe lack courage, Leo energy here. With strength card reverse, could be that they're in a family situation that's not going well. What is going on, Pisces? I wonder if you know that this person is in a situation like this. Like, do you know that? Because I have the moon reverse for you. I have the moon here. And I had the high priestess come up. So, you know, these are secrets here. The unknown. What's hidden? Tell me about the knight of wands reverse. I also find it very strange that I haven't had an Ace of Cups or a Pentacle, uh, anything with commitment here. I see a lot of passion, chemistry, maybe even like sexual um, relationship, but nothing, not like no Ace of Cups. The Knight of Cups is reversed. I have Queen of Cups and King of Cups, but everything else, like there's no, I don't really see love. Six of Cups, that I immediately thought about the past. And when I'm looking around here, I don't really see love. And there's, you know, a lot of opportunities for me to pull out a card about love. Look at all these cards I've pulled. Tell me about the Knight of Wands reverse for Pisces, please. Why is the Knight of Wands reverse? Four of Wands. Okay, so maybe your person is unable to commit or is playing you yeah look at this ten of cups reversed again with the four of wands this might be a marriage or some sort of long-term commitment with children for some of you i have the six yeah look at how i have the higher font came out here taurus energy this is like marriage right here all these cards <laughs> i have four of wands higher font ten of cups this person is definitely married or in a family situation with someone now, you can flip it if you'd like, but, you know, to avoid confusion, this is your person for me. I feel like they're unable to leave a situation and they're mirroring you because you have the Six of Swords reversed as well. So either you're thinking about the fact that your person can't leave or you also want to leave a situation to meet this person. Moon reverse. Very interesting. So let's see, what's the potential outcome here? All right, so what's the potential outcome here, Pisces, between you and this person? Potential outcome spirit between Pisces and this person. The star, okay, potential outcome here between Pisces and this person. What's the potential outcome? We got two here. Seven of Cups reverse and the Fool. What's this Fool about? What's this Fool about? Queen of Cups reverse. What's this fool about? Nine of Cups. This is you. Knight of Swords at the bottom. I feel like this is you, Pisces, because I have the fool reversed with the Nine of Cups for you. So I feel like you, you're going to get a wish here granted regarding a new beginning. However, I feel like this is also going to bring some heartbreak or disappointment. Almost like 
you're going to have a new beginning, but it's not going to be the, you know, it's going to be heartbreaking or something like that. Maybe you're ignoring your intuition or not really like this decision is not one made with emotions, something like that there. Once again, no cards about love. Tell me about this star. What's this star here? Aquarius energy. Why is this star here? It's shown up a few times throughout the reading. Eight of Wands. Movement, communication, excitement, quick movement. Tell me more about the star. The wheel. Okay, so there's some, some sort of rebalancing here. Big changes happening in this connection regarding communication or movement. Why is the Seven of Cups reversed? So divine timing here for some of you. It's the Seven of Cups reverse. Magician reverse. Four of Swords. Oh, I got two. Six of Wands, Five of Swords. So be very careful. I have the nine of coin reversed at the bottom. Be very careful. I feel like something, one of these um, options with the seven of cups reverse is going to be either the wrong option, the wrong cup to choose because I have the magician reverse. So it's like whatever choice someone makes here in this connection, it's like it's not going to manifest. It's going to keep someone from manifesting something. Um, I have the four of swords and the five of swords. So it could even cause conflict or it could cut communication between you. I think someone made this choice because of appearances, six of wands. So just keep that in mind. I feel like there's going to be a big change here. Thank you so much for uh, your likes, your shares, your comments, your subscribes. They really help out the channel and uh, hopefully I'll see you all in another video. Take care.